Hey people, uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of a different video today. As we all know, the World Cup has started now. We are on day three, and the France Australia game has just finished. So I will go back way back to the beginning because I've not done one. I said I was going to do one not every day, though. I'll probably do one every third day and cover matches that's been played uh, so far. So the first game, Russia, Saudi Arabia. Uh, well, there's not much I can tell about that because I was I missed the first half as I was out with my little lad. So, what what I've seen, Saldi, in second half, watched all the second half, were very, very poor defensively. Very, very poor. Uh, so, in that, another cracking book. You can't just say it with down to uh, Saudi Arabia being poor defensively. Uh, Russia were good, they look good as well. Surprised I've seen, seen them play a few times in friendlies, and I didn't expect them, I expected them to win, but not as emphatically as that. that. But so, fair play to them, well done. Uh, yes, yeah, obviously, that for the first game was just, just just the first game, only game on the opening day, free yesterday. I started with. Egypt and Uruguay, Uruguay, I mean Egypt decided just to start with Salah on the bench. I found that a bit weird because I thought, is your better players, start with your better players, I know they to protect him for the rest of the tournament and don't want him to get injured. But you want, for me, you want your better players starting, but I thought, oh, he'll come on with 15, 20 minutes to go. Which they did, but never came up coming on, and for me... To be perfectly honest, I thought that might have been what cost Egypt in the end, because they did all right, they were plucky. Uruguay had all chances though, uh, but Suarez were horrible. I've got to remember the dream team and he was, well, I don't know, but he was absolutely horrendous yesterday. And I'd say, yeah, Uruguay just did enough to win. And that that, that was a good idea from corner, front three kick, I should say, sorry by Jimenez, but not that cracking. Uh, then you got another, for me, poor game again. Morocco against Iran. I watched this first half at home and then I watched the rest of it on my tablet as I was out for lunch, uh, for lunch, out for having something to eat. So I watched it on my tablet while we were out. Well, partly in bits. But I'd have to say it was a poor game for me. What do you expect with two nations like that, I suppose? But saying that, Morocco did have patches where I thought, oh, they'll be alright, but Iran just got better for me. And would you say they deserved to win? I probably would say, yeah, and Gus, Morocco were poor in that second half. Plucky in first half, did some bits thinking, oh, they might, they should score eventually. Second half, didn't. Throughout at all. Uh, then, so far, the game of the tournament so far between Portugal and Spain. Cracker again, I did watch it all this game. Uh, definitely easily goal uh, game at tournament so far by country mile. Um, Ronaldo getting his head off an hat trick. A bit fortunate it was a penalty because I did not think the it was a penalty. I thought he dived. Uh, minimal, literally no contact at all. So, lucky with that one. Uh, lucky again with the second goal. Uh, De Gea, who's usually a reliable, has made two cock-ups. Not in that match, he made one yesterday, but he made one in a, a, a friendly. Is it a friendly game? Not long since. But a drew, I believe. Made a mistake there as well. Can't remember who it was against. But made a mistake there. That cost him. Again. Uh, it was just obviously not a trend and it's just a one-off for the game, which I'm sure it will be. But a good free kick routine. Well, and then his third was just a spectacular free kick. For me, the typical Ronaldo free kick took a ball Ronaldo goal. Spain's goals, they were, they were alright, they were good goals. Um, from 
Dago Costa does what he does, his bullies, defenders, pushes him out of the way, waves at that. Nothing wrong with that. Got his goal. Got two goals. It's Poacher's goal, second one from a free kick headed across. Tapping on Poacher's goal. Uh, which was really, another really good goal for me. And the third for Spain, which was a corker from Nacho. Which was oh, a corker. I didn't expect that when I would come across to him and it came out in his defender. I thought I was just going to pop it and he just laced it. And he hit it sweet as a nut. That. And... Uh, we can go, and it, it, it would have deservedly, it would have been a deserved win if it was a winner. But then Ronaldo scores a typical Ronaldo free kick. It was a good free kick. You can't remember. It's a bit. It's, it was similar for me to the one he scored against for Man United against Portsmouth years ago. Pretty similar for me. Uh, but three three, how would it be a fair result? Yeah. Ronaldo got him out today. If it won't, obviously, if it won't for Ronaldo, they've lost. Obviously, that is obviously that's because yeah, they've got good players, but Ronaldo makes a big difference for them. And uh, I would say draw. Yeah, I would say so. Maybe just said Spain if it were, was going to be a winner, but I'd say three three draw, very fair. And today, game just finished. France Australia. France winning it two one. Uh, France. Um, what can you say? Shocking. They were terrible. They got away with that today. Australia didn't deserve to lose. They deserved at least a point today because they played. They did well. They did okay. They played well. Uh, France's penalty yet again was similar to uh, Ronaldo. Well, apart from that, to go to VAR to get it confirmed, which this is the three referees up there and still got it wrong. I don't think it was a penalty. Very arch on Australia that. Uh, obviously Griezmann just putting it away. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, my little lads just woke up. Uh, but yeah, France did get away with it. Very harsh penalty. The first, the uh, first and never penalty for me. Front, but literally, I think it was minutes later. Got penalty. I don't know what our teacher was thinking about. We hand in air. Okay, now what will go through his mind I'd say but it was put, took away and it was it was just justified basically in the end because there's whenever a penalty they scored it uh, and there's war a penalty they scored it so back to even Stevens I suppose just says that we'll, we'll make it no 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 not said make it even but for me it, it, it just just came out on top in the end because they got a penalty, which was a penalty. But really, if you think about it, France shouldn't have had the penalty and should have been winning. Should have Australia. Think about it, but then the goal, a bit fortunate, well, a bit fortunate, very fortunate with goal. So, I'd have to say very, very unlucky for Australia today. Unlucky. France got away with one massively today. I believe the next game what kicks off at two. Argentina, Iceland should be another core cup, but I will be back soon. Monday. I don't want Monday. Uh, talk about the games, the rest of the game, over three games from today and the three games from tomorrow. So, I hope you've enjoyed this one, and this is my channel. I'm Gareth, and I will catch you all later. Bye bye. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment, like and share and give me suggestions on what other videos I should do.